Pay me, pay me, pay me my silver now. Pay me or go to jail. Pay me my silver now. Roadrunner.com. Good morning, horny Z's. Just sip up chaga coffee. Um, I have stopped drinking coffee for the time being, so I'm taking chaga pills. I, I'm taking a, uh, actually right now, a mushroom complex. Get all the shrooms in your body. Um, yeah, it washes away stuff you don't want in there. Hmm. Stuff we can't talk about on YouTube. YouTube censorship has been going off the charts with this war going on and everybody picking sides, so be careful out there. Careful about what you hear, careful about what you read, careful about <laughs> everything, the sides you pick. I'm, I'm taking the side of humanity. Let's get rid of all the wars, all the criminal banksters that caused the wars, and all the politicians. <laughs> That's my side. All right, um, let's talk briefly about silver. Yes, uh, they are hovering right around that moving average, the 30 and 60, I mean the 100, 200, and 50-day moving average is right in there in the 23, 30 range. Um, same game, different, same game, same players. Um, so we'll see. I, I don't think anybody's putting on, there's not much as far as new positions being put on right now. It's got to jump one way or the other. Um, if it goes below and holds below and starts going down, that's when the uh, tech traders will jump in and start shorting. That's the rocket fuel for uh, silver going up, and then the commercials control the whole game. So uh, right now, commercials did short on the last report. So they're shorting into the rise, but it's interesting. They must be getting very scared if they have to really put on some serious shorts into $23.30. Um, so we will see what happens. Everybody's waiting for that big thing to happen. Well, if you live in Israel or... Uh, you know, I can't talk about that. Oh, Jesus. So hard not to talk about this stuff. Um, anyway, moving on. Uh, the U.S. Mint is on track. It's still on track. They should do another $3 million. Should be a little higher than $3 million from what I gather from uh, my guy over at the Mint. And uh, they'll do the same next month. And then they'll cut off December like they always do. Um, it'll be interesting if they do the same next month because they've... They started cutting off in mid-November. I've, I've seen them cut cut off production in October for the next year, which is crazy, absolutely crazy. But hey, it is what it is. What they want to do is sell out all of their previous, uh, the coins of 2023 and start working on the 2024. That's why every January you see a bigger bump than the, the last few uh, months. They're still making coins. They just want to sell out uh, the, the prior year's coins. Makes sense. But when you're working at a um, on allocation because there's a silver shortage, that doesn't make sense because the U.S. Mint is required by law to make coins meet demand. If there's demand for 2023 silver eagles well over and above the, the 24 million they're going to make this year, they are breaking the law, and we all know that. Uh, Ventures Gibson said they greatly expanded um, – Silver Eagle go production, and yet they're making half of their capacity from 10 years ago. I, 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 we need clarification because I got a letter from Ventures Gibson, the head of the U.S. Mint, said the same thing. They've greatly expanded Silver Eagle capacity, and, and it's not. They're still on allocation. They're still making half of what they've made in the past. So more clarification is needed. <clears throat> I did want to jump over to cryptos because cryptos are being allowed to move again. Um, <clears throat> I think all the weak hands are gone. All the, the hodlers aren't going to move. They they haven't in the past two or three years. Why move now? Um, paying on for dear life. Yes, cryptos are the future. How we how we get from here to there will be a question. So you have to have some in your portfolio, sitting out of any exchange. You're sitting on a lawn chair with your silver and your cryptos, watching the game unfold. But there'll be runs up. Um, a lot of it uh, done by the, the criminal token Tether, which is like a fake U.S. dollar um, run by the pedo cabal, if you ask me. But it, it works. They, ha they can create a lot of fake money. And don't forget, cryptos trade in pairs, meaning it's not like there's new money coming in. There's some, but there's not much. They, they trade like Bitcoin for Ethereum, Bitcoin for Tether, Bitcoin for... XRP, if anybody in their right mind would buy XRP. Uh, Bitcoin for uh, Solana, Cardano, Dogecoin, Dogecoin. All that stuff. 
these are all traded in pairs. Why does it matter? Because you don't need money to jump the price of a crypto. You just need a hot crypto that everybody runs into. Bitcoin is solid right now at 31. Bitcoin is not my favorite. I know it was the first. I'm not so sure it's the most secure because of the concentration of uh, the core developers. Um, the mining concentration is fine. It's the influence of digital currency group, that criminal organization, and uh, other, other entities on the core developers. I'd rather have Bitcoin Cash than Bitcoin, truthfully, but I don't have to have either. I can go to an even better crypto, Litecoin. Litecoin is the right coin. Why I like Litecoin at $66 and Bitcoin is at uh, 30000 It's obvious. That's a 450, 460 to 1 ratio. That is insane. I, I bitch and moan that uh, silver is 85 to 1 with gold. Litecoin was made by Charlie Lee back in the day at 4 to 1, and it's now 460 to 1. So, yes, if you're into cryptos, Litecoin is a screaming buy compared to Bitcoin. Yes, I would. If, swap your Bitcoin for Litecoin. Litecoin is just more useful. And I think it's it's more fair. It's all the good things. When Litecoin was created by Charlie Lee, he did it the right way so that he didn't get all the coins and he was mining like everybody else. It was an amazing forethought as to what like Gary Gensler is, is looking right now at which which cryptos he's gonna dub are uh, are not securities. Bitcoin, he has already said, yeah, Bitcoin, but there's some others. And Litecoin was one of the ones he mentioned, or they mentioned early. And it's obvious that it's almost identical to Bitcoin, other than we know who created it. But we also know it was created fairly. And that was something Charlie Lee bent over backwards to do. And I, I think Litecoin, Bitcoin will be at least two, and Bitcoin Cash, three of the uh, early coins that will be used as money. And I, I do have coins that are used as money. Now, I think other coins are going to do a hell of a lot better than the ones that are being used as money. The, the ones that actually do stuff is what I'm really interested in. De decentralized doing stuff. Yeah, we're going to need forms of money, but we got gold and silver too. But it, I think it's going to be people's choice. Truthfully, no one's going to believe this insane government we have. And... Uh, the, the remote viewing guys, Dick Allgaier's view of people coming out of Congress, it's convening for the last time. They're throwing up, going, oh, my God, it's over. Then cryptos will shine. That's, what, that's the environment they were built for. When the old system breaks down, we need something new. And we've had a, quite a while, over you know, 13, 14 years, for 15 years, for cryptos to really take shape. And they have. A lot more than gold and silver, which I talked about in my last video. That's the amazing thing. You walk down the street and you say, okay, I have a 10-ounce bar of gold. I, I have an equal amount in Bitcoin, and I have, uh, let's say, $1,000 in cash. Most people will take the cash, the $1,000 in cash. But a lot of people will take the Bitcoin. Very few people <laughs> take the gold, which is insane. Which is insane. Um, yeah. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, and then Theta, obviously the best crypto out there as far as doing stuff. The use case of Theta is off the charts. If you're watching this video, you, you should understand the use case. How important is, is it that you have full broadband access? How important is it that you have high definition movies playing on your TV screen? Shit like that. That's what Theta helps. The Theta Edge node is it allows people to share their device. But here's the big thing that nobody talks about except in the early days of Theta. Very few people talk about that. So it's the edge nodes. It's the edge nodes that are the, the, the program you run on your computer to share your broadband with people. And you earn T fuel for that, by the way. There's currently 7,119 active edge nodes, which is a decent amount. Guardian knows they're uh, 3,001, which is, that's what secures, uh, ensures that the network is secured. And then the validator knows the big guys like Samsung and Sony and Google who, who approve the tra transactions instantly, practically, for very little fees. And then the Guardian node, the 3,000 Guardian nodes, 
look at the 28 and say, are you, are you cheating us or not? So it's like a double protection that they can't screw with the network. Not that the 28 would even do that. They see the future. But they can't if you have the Guardian notes. That's key. But this is the big one. 7,000 current live networks. These are people running an edge node to share their broadband and earn basically free T fuel. There's a cost of there's a uses of some space on your computer and some electricity, I guess. But yeah, it's free free T fuel. So everybody should be running one on their computer. Now here's the deal. In the world now, there's over a billion households with smart TVs. Wait, uh, no. By 2026, there'll be 1.1 billion. So now it's close to a billion. Let's just say 700 million smart TVs. Every single one of those. Well, you, you need a little bit of configuration, but almost every single one of them can get downloaded right onto the, the TV a Theta Edge Node, and it can be running in the background while you're watching movies. How many, how many Edge Nodes are going to come on when Samsung and Sony say, all right, now this is a, a, a great argument for Theta when, when Gary Gensler comes and says, ah, oh, you're, you're selling a security. Now, they never ICO'd, so they won't get in trouble for that. But, you know, is Theta an actual security? If you can, if you can take Theta, the Theta Edge Nodes, and transfer them as a software download to perform a function that is not a security that's a software download and it creates the t-fuel and it shares tvs so we could see this number one day out of the blue go from seven thousand to seven million or 70 million or 700 million if Samsung and Sony say we're going to download a Theta Edge node onto every TV to solve this problem of everybody needing more bandwidth. Every electronic device that has the minimum, and here's what they, they need, at least this was when it first came out, uh, internet speed, 5 Mbps, uh, CPU cores, four cores at least, memory 16 gigabyte, free hard drive space 64 gigabyte. Most smart TVs blow this away. As a matter of fact, they have for a very long time. Look at this. This is an article from January of 2013. Samsung's new quad core TV are powerful enough to actually be called smart TVs. So back in 2013, Samsung could have done this if, if Theta was around. How big is it going to be when everybody and their mother is downloading to enhance the network and to earn T-Fuel? Will we see a billion active edge nodes? And the processing power of a billion edge nodes is shocking. It would be the biggest computer system in the world. All talking to each other. This is amazing technology. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So, yeah, you guys should have as much data as possible and T-Fuel as possible. I, and it's my favorite crypto by far. By far. Yes, I love your Veritasium might be a lottery ticket. But it does compl something completely different than what Theta does. Veritasium is peer-to-peer -peer transactions. Theta is expanding broadband. Shareable internet. When you're not using your space, you share it with the network. And it instantly flips back and forth. If it you can use Theta, it would because it's cheaper. They have these things called uh, con content delivery network, CDNs, that you got to pay for. And this was the whole idea. Get rid of the content delivery networks. Have everybody running the Theta Edge node. That's what the world... And imagine Apple Computer doing it to all their computer devices. I don't think you could do it yet on a phone, but you damn well pretty... I think it's about now that you can literally run an edge node on your phone. It'd have to be up and running at all times, though. Probably chew up a lot of your battery power. But you can definitely on computers. Obviously, they're doing it. There's 7,000 doing it right now. So that's, that's what's going on. I mean, it is shocking to me that if Theta was around in 2013, they could, they could have done that. All these new TVs coming out with the quad processors, and now now these these uh, TVs are they're the best computers around.
So why not have your TV running in the background, a Theta Edge node? And oh, by the way, it's a click of a mouse for Samsung and Sony to download it onto all their TVs. It's software. All their smart TVs. The download the Edge node, run the Edge node. Wow. And oh, by the way, yes, Samsung and Sony are partners with Theta. So will it happen? I think it will. When will it happen? I don't know. Probably when it's needed the most. And when will it be needed the most? When the world falls apart. And the companies that run the internet can no longer function properly. Perhaps. It could happen. It, and it's an announcement. It's an announcement and it'll instantly happen. How long does it take to download an edge node onto a smart TV? That, that'll be the question. And it'll be a blink of an eye where every single Samsung and Sony TV on the planet that has the smart TV capabilities, which is almost all TVs now are, that are being sold are smart TVs because everything's going to the internet, you know, live streaming, Netflix streaming and all that. I hope everybody understands this. I mean, I talked about it years ago, but it wasn't that big a deal. I'm like, oh, no, there's other things going on. But I think that's the number one big deal is that Theta Edge nodes could be and, they, and people could use it as money. <laughs> you could use it. And this is something that, that uh, Hitomi saw, the remote viewer from Crypto Viewing, who, who's, who saw this. She even named the Theta Network in her RV, in her remote viewing session. All she had was a number. That's all she had. Dick Allgaier, everybody's like, oh, my God, this technology is unbelievable. And it is a technology, Gary Gensler. <laughs> It's software. It's downloaded onto your smart TV. There won't be a Gary Gensler in the future because there won't be an SEC. When the, when the government shuts down, the SEC is gone. So just keep that in mind. All right. Um, and then this, what to expect as the house, or house enters the third week without a speaker. This could be it. This could be what Dick saw, you know, the House of Representatives never meeting again. I don't think there's going to be an election, and that's almost a year away. There can't be an election. Who Who's going to run against who? The Democrats are clearly going to throw Trump in jail just for being there, just because they know they're protecting their deep state shit. So there won't be, and there's no other Republicans to take Trump's place. Joe Biden can barely even speak now. How is he going to debate anybody in a presidential debate? There won't be. The Democrats already declared they're not going to do a debate. But do you think the Republicans are going to say, yeah, yeah, you know, Joe, Joe can't hide in his basement anymore? I don't think Joe's going to last that long, truthfully. Um, not only is his health failing, revelations are coming out. For example, the check, $200,000 check made out to Joe Biden from his brother right when he got $200,000 from a Chinese company. I mean, this is just so obvious, and the Democrats don't get it. But they've been screaming, where's the proof? Where's the proof it went to Joe Biden? Where's the proof? There you go. There's your proof. What else do you need? What's next? <laughs> why, is he, why is he still the president? Might not be for long. Maybe Trump goes into the Speaker of the House. You don't need a congressman to go into the Speaker of the House. Trump goes into the Speaker of the House. Kamala is so brain dead and such a criminal. There's tons you can get on her. She wasn't even born in the United States, born of uh, U.S. citizens. But we don't even have to go there. I think that shit's going to fall apart before that. And it gives us a deadline, November 4th, 2024. It's the end of the United States because there'll be no presidential election. So all this happens between now and then. We want to get even close to then. Not even close. Get your metal. Get your cryptos. Get them in your own possession. And sit on the sidelines and wait like we do at the Road Ruta. <laughs> All right, that's what I got for you. I will be talking to Jenny this week. We've, we've missed the last couple of weeks. Great stuff. Go check that out uh, on the private road at Road to Ruta. There's so many amazing things going on there. Discussions with Andy Sheckman, the hidden gold that awaits us. There's a massive trove of gold that awaits the United States of America. All we got to do is shed these criminal banksters. And it is massive. So much more than Jeffrey Christian could even imagine. Um, probably 10, 15 times what they say the total amount of gold in the world is. So all you gold bugs, keep that in mind. 
There's not that I haven't found that many silver conspiracies other than the Manhattan Project silver. They used uh, three billion ounces for the uh, to make the enriched uranium in the 1940s, but supposedly they gave it back to the to the uh, Treasury. They actually did not give it back to the Treasury. It wasn't torn down until the 1990s, and then that it was shipped all over the world, and that's in the U.S. Uh, GS data on silver exports. So amazing future for silver gold should do fine they printed a lot more money than we have even if we have 10 or 20 times the amount of gold that uh, jeffrey christian will tell us even if we do they have printed a hell of a lot more money than that uh, money they don't even tell us about you know 33 trillion dollar deficit that's nothing that's the laughing stock they print money and they do their dark, dark ops every country does it too once they learn the u.s was doing it every country does it there's no mechanism that makes them tell the truth in government anymore or the Fed or the Treasury. Keep that in mind. Anyway, go to the private route for all those great discussions um, and then all these different categories. Uncensored is a good one. You guys will like that. Um, yeah, that's where we are. And if you want to subscribe, we are. We are back to giving away the Silver Ruta coin. And we're not going to be giving this away for very long because I think silver, once it blows past 30, it's, it's, I'm, I'm headed to the moon, Bix. I'll talk to you later and we're going to stop giving this away. So get yours today. Silver Road to Ruta coin, um, individually numbered, it comes with a certificate of authenticity and a hand painted heart because Ruta is here to save the day. This is Bix. I'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm.